Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for Eden's Verse Iconoclasm. This is the third of four new raid encounters made available by patch 5.2 in Final Fantasy XIV, Echoes of a Fallen Star. This fight may leave you feeling empty, and you might think some of these mechanics are for the birds. But if you gather your raid friends together, you might learn that there is strength in numbers. My name is Ms. Tech, and I'll be your raid guide. Empty Wave will deal heavy raid-wide damage. Healers beware. Unshadowed Stake will tether to the primary target and blast them with a heavy hit in column attack. The main tank will need to ensure they move away from the rest of the group to avoid overlap. Words of Motion will cause clumps of birds to form across the northern edge of the platform in a specific sequence. The birds will then blast across the platform in the order that they formed in. Players will need to position near the first clump of birds, wait for them to blast across, and then move into that same zone to avoid the next blast. Next up, red and blue portals will form around the platform. Players will need to pay close attention to the way that these spawn as their positioning will determine future safe zones. More bird clumps will form, and in this first sequence, one of the portals in the center of the platform will be blasted by the birds first. This will clue players in on where the safe spots will be. Portals will take the initial blast hit and then shoot it out of the same colored portal on the other side of the platform. Players will need to quickly identify which portal is getting hit first, and then look along the outer edges to find the appropriate safe zones they'll use to avoid the remainder of the blasts. This takes a higher level of awareness and will take some practice before you get the hang of it. The portal and bird sequences will increase in difficulty as the encounter continues continues, but the basic principle remains the same. As long as you can quickly identify which portal is getting blasted first, you'll be able to pre-position for each incoming blast and avoid excess damage and debuffs. When the boss casts away with Z, all players will be targeted by these fancy new teleportation markers. After the duration of your debuff expires, the player character will be teleported into the circle indicated by their line marker. As you can see, the position of the player's marker is fixed relative to the position of their character. All players will need to make sure they force their teleport marker into a safe area of the platform, or they might find themselves getting teleported into AoEs or worse. False Twilight will form circle AoEs underneath players. Move out of these as necessary. Immediately after, two players will be targeted with Silver Sledge stack-up markers. The group will need to split in two to share the incoming damage. Eventually, the boss will cast Unjoined Aspect, and all players will be afflicted by either a light, astral, or dark umbral effect debuff. The boss will then cast Words of Night and the dark and light clumps of birds will form on the north edge of the platform. Players will have to position themselves to only get hit by birds of the opposite color to avoid death. Anytime a player is hit by a colored bird blast, their debuff will be swapped to that same color. That means that if handled correctly, all players will again need to readjust to the opposite color for each subsequent hit until their debuffs expire. Once everyone's debuff expires, the boss will disappear and two idolatry ads will spawn in the east and west of the platform. Each tank will grab one and keep them apart, while the group splits up to destroy them. During this time, the boss will cast away with the again, and players will need to ensure their teleportation markers are angled in safe directions. Directions. At the same time, strength in numbers will form donut AoEs around the adds. The teleportation will happen first, so players can position themselves to be teleported into a safe spot or close enough that they can quickly readjust into the safe spot if necessary. Silver Shot will mark all players with circle AoEs, spread apart to avoid overlapping damage. The next strength in numbers is a point blank AoE around each ad. Move away as necessary. At this point, the adds will begin to cast Explosion and must be destroyed before the cast goes off. Once the adds are down, the raid can stack up to cooldown and heal through the empty flood transition. All players will be marked for light and dark debuffs, portals will appear, and more birds will form in sequence along the outer edge. While this may be confusing at first, players will need to associate each portal color to the incoming light or dark bird blast, and then adjust to the appropriate lane based on their own debuff. Don't forget that after the first hit, your debuff will be switched over, and you'll need to adjust to the next safe lane before the next blast. This is definitely one of those mechanics that that will require quick awareness and will become easier with practice. Immediately after, players will be marked for teleportation and two towers will form on the platform. These towers will need a player inside of them before the orb hits the ground, or they will explode and you will probably die. To handle this, players can force their teleportation markers into a tower circle to ensure there is someone always soaking the blast. At this point, all of these mechanics will repeat until the boss is destroyed. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Up next, the finale, Eden's verse Fulgence. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.